This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In Adobe Illustrator, guides are an important way to help you visibly see things, line things up, if you will. They don't print, obviously. They're there for here, not for print. However, there is another set of guides that some people find very useful and some just really find annoying. They're called smart guides. They help you out. For example, don't have them turned on yet. Move things around, do anything you want to. Go up to the word view on the pull down menu and go down to smart guides. Now when you turn on smart guides, everything changes. Watch what happens when I grab this one now. I start seeing lines appear everywhere. For example, if I want that star exactly above that one and I've got smart guides turned on, I can drag this one until I literally see that line and let go. So if I am looking for an order, I can come over here, say put this one here, I'll move this one up until I see that line appear, I'll move this one up, and I'll move this one up. Now it is not just for doing this. If you will notice if I come over here and touch this one, it will highlight it. If you can see that, it's saying there's a path. I'm on a path. If I touch here, it gives me information about that anchor point in terms of its X, Y position on the screen. Lots of stuff going on here. Some people find that a bit too much. They just want the alignment marks. They don't want smart guides constantly telling them what they're doing. There is control here. Go to Preferences. On Max, Illustrator Preferences. On Windows, Edit Preferences. And go into Smart Guides. The Smart Guide Preferences. Number one, my line was green. If that's a difficult color for you to see, by all means, change it to anything that you want. Do you want to see alignment guides? Yes. Do you want it to highlight objects when you touch them? No. Do you want to see path labels? No. Whatever. Change, turn them on and off. The construction guides, that's those lines you see. You can change those to different angles. Now before some of the new perspective tools came out in Illustrator, CS4 and CS5, we use the construction guides to build three-dimensional objects. They're not as valuable in that area as they were before, but you can choose where the lines appear by changing these numbers. Snapping tolerance, how quickly it snaps to an object, four points. You don't like that, you can change that too. So if you don't like all the stuff that it's doing, you like the guides, turn off everything but the guides. You have control over these. And if you don't want to use them anymore for this project, go right back to the word view and go right back down here and turn them off. Actually, I find them quite valuable when you're doing some quick alignment and movement of objects. Why not use them? Smart guides.